Hello and welcome to Classy Handmade. Hope you're all doing well. So it is Friday evening. It is now 5.45 here in Peoria, Arizona. And I am coming to you because I would like to talk about our Yarny YouTube hop that is hosted by Kim the Crafty Nomad. So how are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing well. So as for me, I am doing awesome because you know why? We are finally getting some double digit <laughs> weather and not the triple digit weather. So it's coming down to the fall guys. So are you all feeling the cold weather already? So this week here in Peoria, Arizona, we got some a little bit cooler weather. And um, so we're loving it. So I'm here to show you what I've made for my Yarny YouTube hop. This one was a bit undecisive for me because I couldn't choose what I want to make. So I made quite a few stuff. All pertaining to like little amigurumi makes and so on. So um, without further ado, let me show you the first thing that I've made. And I made a amigurumi of course. So I made one of this doll from this book and it is Lulu's Crochet Dolls. And I made the winter doll, this one. I did change up a couple of things. So I use some, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. Not I love this yarn, I love this cotton. So here is my doll that I have made. I this the dress yarn. I change up the dress. I do my own thing for the dress. So she is this the yarn is from is it um is that a Lovecraft? I had bought some yarn or OB, one out of the two. I had it for a long time. So I use that as a cotton yarn. So I use that. The skin tone I use Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And her top, she have on a pink top. So I use, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. And her head, or fall headband, it's just some acrylic yarn. Our hair I did in acrylic. I embroider her eyes. I did her shoes comes off, but I'm not gonna take it off. I think I, it can come off, but I think I tack it on. So it's not crochet on onto her foot. It's a separate piece and it's in color brown. And it's a bit wool, I think it's um, Ship, um, uh, fisherman wool I have and I made her okay so I had some yarn that was hanging around and I did make her a jacket so this is her jacket I just wing it so she have a jacket for when the fall is here she, and she, it started to get a little nippy she could put on her jacket so that's her that's my doll that i made um see the under these doll in these part in this book is quite easy i like it you know it um is very nice dolls and they're not very hard to make so i see a lot of other crocheters are using this book to make other project and I must say welcome guys to thank you for being here yes yeah, so sorry guys 
Um, yes, thank you for watching. And welcome to all of you. I should have said that before. But I was so excited to talk about this project that I even forget to greet you guys. How are you all doing today? So welcome. So this Yarny YouTube Hop is hosted by Kim the Crafty Nomad. And what we do every season, we make something that, put, you know, you don't have to choose any. She doesn't. You could choose whatever project you want to make. She doesn't tell you what to make. You make what you want, for, what is pertaining to you, what represents the season for you. So I made this doll. So here is her. She have on her jacket. I show you just now that she didn't have on her jacket. So now she have on her jacket. And not only her jacket, I also give her a little basket. So this doll comes in the pattern she comes with a crossbody bag but her little accessory little because she's a fall doll she went into the forest looking scavenging for you know stuff for fall so she found a little pumpkin and a pine cone sorry guys this is not a pine cone this is a mushroom so this is all link in the pattern in the book the pumpkin in the book is bigger than this so i just i'll show you the size of the pumpkin. this is the size of the pumpkin that is in the book so i just made a smaller one so that's her pumpkin so i made it so it could fit in this basket here so i put that and this in here so she could carry it around. So this is my doll that I made. I am going to so this is her coat. This coat, like I mentioned before, I and this coat is made with some like a roving yarn and um this is what it looks like. So our basket, she have our basket. So, <laughs> so this is her, my doll. Okay, moving on. So I did make some pumpkins. And um, I'm going to show you that in a minute. So I finished my pumpkins. And I have three different ways I will show you how I decorate my pumpkins. Um, so this is the first one and this pattern I use is from Candice, is it? Candice or Creation. Okay, I'll leave it in the description box below. So if you would like to make some of these pumpkins, it's I like these. They are made with bobble stitches. So my lighting is going in and out. I don't like that. Okay, I think that's better. So these are the pumpkins. And I decorated with some raffia twine and some ribbon. I bought this ribbon. I can't let me see. Uh, probably it's from Michael's. It looked like a so it's a container like this it's celebrate celebrate it so i kind of maybe michael's or want joanna or somewhere anyhow you could find a lot of these ribbon in containers so i did bought that one and i put some i use this one here is like a burlap to decorate this pumpkin the next pumpkin i decorate is this one and this one is a little bigger so you can see the size difference and i use some vintage looking lace and let me see where did i put that lace i just had it here so anyhow here it is i think this is from the dollar tree i got this lace it's like a yeah this vintage lace 
sorry guys I hope you can see so this is what it looks like I like vintage things these are my colors I like color things like this sorry if the light keep going in and out in and out the next one I got is this black and white ribbon the ribbon is not that and I got this little owl from the Dollar Tree so that's my three little pumpkin I'll try to take some pictures of it so you can see and I put cinnamon sticks for the stems so I give it a nice festive fall let me see if I could pick all three up fall right so this is what it looks like so guys I will leave these links in the description box for the pumpkin so if you would like to make some for yourself the pumpkin i use this it's a number six weight yarn um i do have the brand of yarn let me get that so, so this is the brand of yarn that i have and it's wool ease that i made the pumpkin it's wool ease tick and quick tick and quick so do you think this would look nice in a pumpkin? I never see a blue pumpkin. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, that's all my make for the Yarny YouTube hop. I can't wait to see what you guys all made. And um, I get a lot of inspiration from others, you know, seeing what they make for the Yarny YouTube hops and so on. So uh, I like how my doll turned out. I like how my pumpkin turned out. And I am looking forward to see what every one else I've made for this. So for this hop. So thank you Kim again for hosting this Yarny YouTube hop. Where we are all get inspiration from each other. And thank you very much. I will Thank you. Don't forget to hop around and check out everyone and see what they make so you can be inspired for the fall. So thank you. Until next time, remember to be kind. God bless. Bye.